Gemini, welcome to your new moon in Pisces. I hope this finds you well, as always. And uh, let's talk about how this lunar energy is hitting you, particularly if you're Gemini rising. This is hitting your 10th house, this Pisces stellium that is really lining up matters uh, in your in your life, of, of your public life, really, your status, your reputation, maybe your career, okay, maybe generational wealth. But perhaps there are issues with that area of your life where you have dealt with some karma, some challenges, some limitations, some heaviness, some burdens that's really unclear for you. The good news is that you have Jupiter and Uranus and Taurus sextiling this energy that wanted to pop out in your 12th house, okay? So you might not see it very clearly, but I am getting this vibe that there are forces in the spirit realm that are trying to bring some unexpected positive twists and turns your way might have to do with money resources might have to do with self-worth um but again it might it's it's really in a behind the scenes not out in the open way so again if you're dealing with heaviness or karma or limitations with that 10th house area of your life over the next six months into mid-September, there's a lot of energy indicating that there are forces behind the scenes that are helping you. Okay, balance is what we have here. And so again, notice that fog over her head where, you know, there's a lot she's got in her hands, a lot of potential, a lot of possibility, but there's some kind of Neptunian fog going there where I don't know if you can see what you're capable of, all right? And I'm going to go back to that, that sextile in your 12th house where, you know, some of you might feel really fogged in during this time and not seeing or knowing the forces um, in the unseen realm that are really trying to line things up for you. So try to stay encouraged if you've been dealing with those thoughts of, I, I don't see it, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to get out of this. I don't know where it's going. Like, yeah, I have these ideals and I want to get these new beginnings with this public, very public area of my life, but I just don't know how. Let's see what the cards have to say for Gemini in terms of what's coming together, what's coming apart, and what the outcome is. Yeah, I am getting that there's some, there's been some snacks, okay? Like, it's not a straightforward process, but look at this. Three of fire, there will be expansion. You might be waiting on it. You might be waiting on your ships to come in, okay? But that is a card of expansion and things progressing and moving forward. Maybe you're longing for it. Maybe you're preparing for it. But this is about you looking ahead to the future and the direction that things could potentially move in. What's coming together is, for some of you, I, this could be a promotion, okay? We're looking at possibly a raise for some of you. I'm going to get some more, you know, advice, but get more clarifying cards on that, but that looks really good. Okay. It might involve a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, but I see things again, improving what's coming apart. Seven of water. Look, this lack of clarity, this fog, this mental fog of, I don't know, which one should I pick? Uh, that's probably going to end. You are over the next six months going to get a lot more clear about what's viable and what's not. If you or somebody around you has had commitment issues, you're just considering, contemplating what are your options and you're not clear about your choices or you're in a little bit of a dreamland with wishful thinking, that's going to clear out over the next six months. The outcome, well, this might have, you know, this might be a test of your patience, okay? Uh, that's a temperance card. And so there might be a Sagittarius or a Cancer that is relevant here, but I do feel like overall, this is about you healing something that maybe, again, I'm getting a lot of cards about waiting, being patient, and things slowly but steadily moving forward, though you don't really see it. Some of you might feel like you're fumbling in the dark. Please tell me more about this messenger of Earth. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say there's a two-year time, uh, time frame up ahead. There's a two-year time frame up ahead where you're probably going to have to make choices that are very stable, secure, sure-footed, and possibly just be very efficient, very methodical in the way that you go about moving things forward. This is kind of like being a turtle 
and that that fable of the tortoise racing the hare just don't try to be that hare that rabbit right try to be the tortoise there's something about last october last autumn where something maybe didn't come together something didn't come to harvest so to speak like you were not able to get something to bear fruit in the way that you had intended or planned or prepared and that might have put you in a bit of a it might have been because of wishful thinking some of you this is a matter of the heart okay something that you're very affectionate about um it just it just didn't it didn't give you it's it, i'm hearing something that was not sustainable it didn't sustain you there's been a lot of wishful thinking um something was not growing it wasn't moving you forward um if you are still in a bit of a wishful thinking fantasizing mode about uh you know this is going to get cleared up over the next six months about what's growing and what's not or what's moving you forward and what's not this might have to do with uh traveling as well because I am getting some kind of traveling, like a migration, travel um, a vibe there that something didn't move you forward or grow. But you're going to, or it won't. And you might have a lot of feelings about this. You might have a lot of emotional attachment to this and a lot of wishful thinking. But that's, that's going to unravel over the next six months. You know, dr dreams or wishes that are just not going to get you to where spirit is intense for you to go again this is a lot of spiritual guidance do you understand these two cards here are a lot about angelic spiritual guidance some of you are probably maybe going to feel fenced in ain't going to lie feel like there's some kind of limitation or restriction upon you maybe coming from people in authority might be government agencies might be bosses people in corporations trying your patience holding you back uh, this might have to do with a formalized partnership and whatever is testing or trying your patience, spirit is there with you trying to guide you through this and show you. I do see positive benefic expansion, particularly around a feminine energy. There will be an opportunity and I think it's work related and it is faded. It's gonna happen, okay? And this is a really positive omen that uh there there is some kind of now for some of you there might be some heaviness with this opportunity or like uh some kind of burden to bear with this opportunity but it is faded and it is going to bless i'm also getting for some of you if there has been a relationship where somebody's not been able to get a formalized partnership, not been able to get growth and expansion in a relationship where there's been a lot of love, maybe a lot of idealism, wishful thinking about someone who is just not getting you there. I do feel that there could be a three-party situation involved where somebody is or will over the next six months uh, be looking outside of the relationship to you know, it's, let's get real. They're going to be like, well, if I can't get expansion with this person and I can't get growth, you know, is there somebody else apart from them? Is there some other person that I could get expansion and growth with? And it might be on a job for some of you. My fine love in the workplace ain't going <laughs> to lie. All right. That's, I am seeing a storyline there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am worthy of my own love is the word of affirmation for you, Gemini. Write a love note to yourself. What is it that you most need or want to hear? Be blessed.